Hey guys, it's also Perkins here, and today I have a review of the 753110 Dual on Mandelverse set. Uh, has 147 pieces, and is ready to recommend for just seven now. That's with two minifigs, and let's get into the time. Hey guys, this is Lashley Productions here with my review of the set 753110 Dual on Mandalore set. The set comes with two minifigures, 147 pieces, and is recommended for ages 7 and up. So let's get into the box. The box is a pretty good size. It's quite thin, um, thinner than the Dual Moved for set box. You have the clone, uh, 332 uh, clone on the top, and on the back it shows you some play features of the set. Uh, you can pause the video if you the want. The instructions are very small, which is very weird. I mean, it is 147 pieces, but this is about the size of a microfighter um, instructions, not like the regular dual sets, like uh, Dual and Mustafar. This one is uh, quite small, has just all the pieces and all the stuff, and then you have Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga ad, which is going to come out spring 2022, sadly, now. And then we have the other sets um, right here. So, yep, that's the instructions. Now let's get on to the actual we'll set. the minifigures. This is Ahsoka. Same one we got in the AAT last year. I won't take too much time on her. She has two blue lightsabers. Same print. Um, two face prints. Um, and this new, this hair piece. Uh, or not hair, but whatever they call them. The angry face and the more happier face. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much Ahsoka. Um, oh my gosh. And yeah, that's... <laughs> that is pretty much Ahsoka. And now the Darth Maul in this set is an exclusive new Darth Maul. Um, it's exclusive as of this video coming out in September. Um, he comes with new printing and is a great Maul. Um, this is the last latest one that... We've got, um, this is one from the Lego Star Wars 2020, like, something book or whatever. This one, um, is the Crimson Dawn one, but it worked really well with Season 7, so if we never got that one, I wouldn't be too, uh, I wouldn't mind too much. But, yeah, this is a great minifigure. Um, obviously has the Maul head part, um, that whatever you call it, it is exclusive to Maul, obviously. He has a double-bladed lightsaber, and I don't know why they still use the silver one. But, anyway, I don't think they're going to change it anytime soon. Um, and he has a nice back print. Um, and, yeah. So, now let's get on to the so build. the two builds you get in this set are quite small. You have the throne room, or just, basically just the throne. And then this mall chamber holder thing that, uh, mall goes in. And what's really annoying is this is a sticker. Um, which is kind of annoying because I kind of, uh, messed it up a bit. But... Yeah, um, that's not a big deal. Um, but this opens up, and you can actually put a uh, mall inside. So I've just got a mall, take off his lightsaber, and put him in there. And you can see Maul's uh, all the light. Um, you can see Maul's eyes sticking out, which is really good. It's accurate to the show, too. Um, quite accurate to the show. Um, and... Yeah, it looks really good. So now this is the throne room, and um, it I like really like the orange p use of those leaf pieces. Um, those are really good. I don't think I have, but they look really good. Um, and this is obviously the throne for Darth Maul. Um, you could just put him in there, and there he's just seating there. And this also falls back, and the play that's the main play, play feature in this set, apart from the chamber that Maul goes in, um, you can basically have Maul, like here, and the Ahsoka like force pushes him out the window, which I think actually happens in the episode. So you can just go like, like, wait, like that, sort of, you know, it doesn't work too well, but it's, it's cool. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much all for the builds, and I'll show you 
everything you get in the set one everything last you time. get in the set one last time um i would rate this set pretty good um i'm glad they didn't up the price for the dual sets to uh five five dollars i'm glad it's still at the same price 20 usd or 25 canadian um and i think this set's pretty good i don't think it's worth your money as much as the dual on mustafar set is and speaking of that this one's sealed and i'm giving it away on september 16th so you only have um nine days left to enter that and all you have to do is subscribe and um watch my videos and like them and if you have uh yeah if you've already done that um obviously you're entered and just comment below done or i've entered and then i will enter you so yeah that's all for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed and see you on the next one bye